Welcome back to MathMind. In today's video, let's take a look at a question from the Korean CSAT, which is basically the college admission test in Korea. It's a rather unusual question, so let's go ahead and take a look. In the following question, we are given a series where each component is governed by one of two formula. It's either the formula of A2 multiplied by AN plus 1 or A2 multiplied by AN minus 2. From there, we are given A7 equal to 2, and we are, to, we are trying to find A25. Let's go ahead and deconstruct A25 using these two formula. I'm going to express A25 as A2 times 12 plus 1. From there, that's equal to A2 multiplied by A12 minus 2. Let's continue on. Now I'm trying to deconstruct A12 using the first formula of A2n. I'm going to con I'm going to write A12 as A2 times 6, and that's equivalent to A2 multiplied by A6 plus 1. Continuing on, I now have A6 to be equal to A2 times 3 which is equal to A2 multiplied by A3 plus 1. At this point, let me make use of the information that is given, which is A7 is equal to 2. So I'm going to go ahead and express A7 as A2 multiplied by 3 plus 1, which is equal to A2 multiplied by A3 minus 2. We know a7 to be equal to 2, so let's go ahead and use that to work out our product of a2 multiplied by a3. From this equation, I know that a2 multiplied by a3 is equal to 2 plus 2, which is equal to 4. And we're going to make use of this to work out our a6, which is equal to a2 multiplied by a3 plus 1, which is then equal to 5. In order to work backwards to get A25, I know I need to find what is the individual value of A2 and A3. So let me get deconstruct each of the components using the formula. I have A2 is equal to A2 multiplied by 1 which is then equal to the product of A2, A1, plus 1. Likewise, A3 can be expressed as A2 multiplied by 1, plus 1, which is then equal to A2 multiplied by A1, minus 2. Let me call this equation 1, and let me call this equation 2. If I multiply equation 1 with equation 2, on the left hand side, I have the product of A2 multiplied by A3, which is equal to the product of A1, A2 plus 1 multiplied by the product of A1, A2 minus 2. We know that A2 times A3 is equal to 4. So let's go ahead and work out the quadratic equation. I have a1, a2 square minus a1, a2 minus 6 is equal to 0. From there, with simple factorization, I have a1, a2 minus 3 multiplied by a1, a2 plus 2 is equal to 0. In other words, a1, a2 is either equal to 3 or equal to negative 2. Now the question is, can we accept both values? Let's do a recap on all the information that we have so far. I have a1 is between 0 and 1, and a2 is equal to the product of a1, a2 plus 1. In other words, I can rearrange this equation 
to have a to 1 minus a1 is equal to 1. From there, a2 is equal to 1 over 1 minus a1. Since a1 is a positive number between 0 and 1, I know that a2 must be bigger than 0 as well. So a2 is a positive number. With that, we know that a1 and a2 is a product of two positive numbers, so itself must be positive. In other words, a1, a2 is equal to 3 and negative 2 will be rejected. We have worked out a lot of values, so let's just spend some time to put everything together. I have a1, a2 is equal to 3 and from there, make use of a2 is equal to a1 multiplied by a2 plus 1 which is equal to 3 plus 1 that's equal to 4 and also previously we know that a6 is equal to 5 from here let's continue to work backwards I have a12 to be equal to a2 multiplied by a6 plus 1 which is equal to 4 times 5 plus 1 which is equal to 21 and we get to our final destination which is a25 which is equivalent to a2 multiplied by a12 minus 2 and that's equal to 4 times 21 minus 2 which is equal to 82 that's the final answer for today's question it seems like there's a lot of work but i hope you enjoyed this video have a good day goodbye